This video is going to be a compilation video of the LX SU-47. Uh, it's actually a compilation of, of three different flights. Um, and as the name implies here, it shows uh, some good, uh, definitely some bad, and some, some ugly uh, that I'll cover here. So, um, and unfortunately, the videos that I have of these flights uh, is having tr challenges with the camera and, and having it stay locked onto the, the plane uh, since I'm wearing it on my hat. So the video's not that great, but I'll show you the segments that I do have. Um, we'll cover a number of different things. Um, the CG, uh, the canard, uh, and then, you know, what happened in each of those three flights and, and, and you know, kind of the lessons that we learned there, okay? So we've seen other flights uh, on YouTube of the SU-47 where um, the CG was definitely off and it was tail heavy. Um, in my case, um, I went by the book. So um, they list that it's, uh, for the CG, it's 20 millimeters behind the very front edge of the wing that's actually part of the fuselage, okay? Um, and I got the CG right by uh, essentially putting some weights. I ended up putting 57 grams in the very front of the cockpit fuselage where the nose cone attaches, okay? And with those 57 grams, um, I was able to get the, the, the CG exactly per the book. Now I do have some, uh, some center burners on the engines as well, so that probably adds a little bit of tail weight. But in any case, I did get the CG exactly like they had it in the book, and that's what I started the first flight off with. So a little bit about how I set up the aircraft. Um, in the instructions, what they want you to do is to essentially set up all the control services um, so that they all play a role in the pitch and roll, uh, almost like a delta wing, okay? Um, and actually the opposite canards work with the opposite aileron and um, elevator, okay? Um, and, and here's a diagram showing that, okay? Um, in my case, I wasn't uh, comfortable with that. I wanted to set up the aircraft to be a traditional uh, aircraft with ailerons and elevator and then optionally enable the canards um, only for the um, elevator so that I could tie it in with the elevator. So that's, that's how I set that up and, and again the canards were enabled with a switch, okay? So another mod that I made to this aircraft was the, um, the landing gear. I didn't really care for the, uh, the landing gear that came with the LX model. Um, the wheels are very tiny and was concerned about the reliability of, of the gear to, to you know, retract and, and, and go out. So anyways, uh, I wanted to swap those out. Um, the wheel wells or the opening for the landing gear that they had in place is very, very small and, 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 and very narrow. So um, I ended up putting in landing gear for a, that was off of a single 70 millimeter jet, right? So that would work fine um, taking off on pave, pay on the pavement right but on landing um, and I like to land on the grass because I have limited space to land on pavement um, I thought that that because of the size of the the jet okay being a twin 70 and these smaller gears that they probably would not hold up well so I wanted to make this uh, SU-47 a, a belly lander the only challenge with that is on the elevators, right? The, the very front of those elevators, um, depending on how much deflection you give it, will actually go down towards the, the bottom of, of the fuselage, right? And so if you're landing in grass, they can get caught on grass and, and obviously rip the, the tips off of those elevators. And, and I did have that in, 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 in the uh, second landing. So anyways, that was one mod that I did. Um, on the first flight, so for flight number one, uh, I had uh, a lot of problems where it was, you know, pretty much nose heavy. I mean, pretty, pretty, definitely nose heavy in my case, right? So it wasn't uh, tail heavy, and was kind of struggling, having to give it um, almost 50% uh, uh, up elevator to to keep it level. Okay, um, so I was able to fly that uh, around and fortunately was able to land it. Um, for flight number two, I decided to uh, remove some of the weight out of the nose 
to see if that would help with it being uh, nose heavy. So I actually removed uh, some weight and, and uh, ended up with 35 grams in the nose. So uh, did the second flight and not much difference. It was still very nose heavy. Um, was able to fly it uh, pretty well, okay. Um, the landing wasn't the best and uh, a couple little pieces that I had to fix, but uh, still very nose heavy. so good oh yeah with that uh, elevator there it's not gonna do good hmm hopefully it's not too bad off well we just lost a tip a couple of tips didn't we I got one tip that we're gonna have to find. So after flight number two, where it was still diving uh, quite a bit, even after I moved some of the weight out of the nose, uh, I started looking elsewhere, right? And I was looking at the canard, and then I was looking at the where where the pivot point is on the canard versus the CG, right? And basically. Uh, that uh, point is like 115, if I remember correctly, right? Uh, 115 millimeters, right? So that canard can make a significant difference uh, with respect to pitching up or pitching down, depending on where that's at, right? It's kind of like sticking your hand out the window when you're driving down the road, right? Um, and so in looking at that, um, I was, you know, when I initially put it on there, I tried to make it basically level as much as possible. Um, and I'm thinking that where it ended up, uh, and you can see it in the picture here, is not the proper place. So what I ended up with was a canard that is essentially pitching uh, downward, if you will, okay? And, you know, just like sticking your hand out the window and, 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 and if you pitch your hand down, then it's gonna, the wind is going to tend to push your hand down. Likewise, since this canard is on the front of the aircraft, it, if it is pitched down relative to the wind, it's going to push the nose of the aircraft down, right? So what I wanted to do was to change the position and there's a line on the fuselage um, and you can see it in the picture here, I try to draw it with the blue, there's a blue line there. And you have to look real close, but the tip of my canard was where the red arrow is pointing. So th there, there is like a, almost like a quarter of an inch difference there. And so what I did in preparation for the third flight was to change the, the setting on the control horn so that the tip of the canard was more in line with that blue line, okay? And my hope was that um, it would, the aircraft would not pitch as much, okay? Uh, hopefully I could take the pitch out of it and it would fly straight and level um, and, and that would solve my pitching problem, um, which, you know, a lot of times people think that that's CG, but I'm thinking that canard can also have a significant impact on uh, how your how your aircraft pitches either up or down okay so that was the plan I changed it uh, prior to flight number three and then we'll see what happens in flight number three well in this flight uh, kind of the wise words of a, a smart pilot that told Maverick it's better to save your aircraft for another day than to push a bad position. And those words were never true, truer than uh, on this particular flight, yeah, as we'll see. Light. All right. Yep. Boy. 
boy. Hmm, okay, well, we'll find out. It sure does feel nose heavy. <laughs> Maybe because I'm picking up from the wings and there's the CG spot there. We'll give it a shot. Okay, it's number three for the LX SU-47 Twin 70. Canards are off. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Uh, whoo. Uh oh, uh oh. Gear up. Uh. Yeah. I think I got the gear up, but. Looks like the whole front end came off. Well, I thought I got the gear up. <sighs> okay. Just a summary and some maybe some final thoughts here. Um, the plane is not that bad. Um, you know, I have to get a new front end for it. Um, the inlets were crushed a little bit, so I may have to do a little work on them. But other than that, um, I think most of it was pretty much intact. I'll have to check the gear um, and, and see where they're at. But, but the remainder of it is, is, is pretty well intact. Um, so just some thoughts there. You know, this is definitely, uh, you know, an advanced aircraft, uh, you know, with the forward swept wings and especially if you're not uh, familiar with canards, right? And in my case, I'm intermediate, if you will, at best, okay? Um, so this has been a real challenge for me. Um, I still haven't given up on it. I'd like to, I'd like to see if I can't get that, you know, in, in a flyable condition and, and uh, fly it sometime, okay? So when they have the, uh, the front portion of the fuselage back in, st in stock, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, repair this. Um, so some things to be careful with there, uh, obviously as I mentioned before that canard position is, is probably very uh, critical to whether it's going to pitch up and down. Um, also the elevator um, was very sensitive on mine so maybe and I think I had, I try not to think them on high rate but pretty close to high rate and uh, I think I just had them way too high and so maybe a lower rate uh, on a maiden would, would, would make sense. The other things to note is the LX instructions on this um, aircraft, um, you know, leaves a lot to be desired, right? So they don't give you where you should put the throws at, um, you know, as far as the control horn and the, um, uh, the, the servo arm. And then also on the canard, where should that canard be positioned, the leading edge of that canard be positioned on the aircraft, right? So you're kind of left to experiment um, and really experiment in flight as to what those settings should be, okay? So that, those are just some things to be aware of. Hopefully this is helpful to, to others that, that have this aircraft and, and you know, maybe you can learn from some of the lessons that, that, that I went through and, and, and maybe not have to uh, crash your aircraft like I did. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.